Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a bonus reading here for you, Gemini. So whenever you come across this video, that's when you're meant to see it. If you'd like a personal reading from me, I will leave my email address in the description box below. Just send me an email. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Let's see. Let's get a moon oracle for Gemini. What's going on, Gemini? Your commitment is being tested. Going through some tests here, Gemini. And the end of a tough cycle approaches. I love this. Full moon in Capricorn and the first quarter moon. That's really interesting because we just had that full moon in Capricorn. And that really ended something out for you here, Gemini. And your commitment is being tested. That's the first quarter moon. So maybe you're finding yourself right now in some kind of test, some kind of spiritual test and have faith in your dreams on the bottom of the deck. Interesting. Let's see. Let's see what kind of spirit animal is coming out for Gemini. Gemini. A cheetah you're running towards something very, very quickly. <laughs> Maybe you're running toward that mouse and the dragonfly. So here's some conflicting energy popping up for you, Gemini. We've got transformation. We've got uh, spiritual, spiritual elevation with the dragonfly. And then you've got the cheetah and the mouse. You've got somebody, something very sure of what it wants, very sure of what it needs and going after it very quickly with all that fire energy. And then you've got the skittery, nervous kind of uh, ground dwelling mouse that's just um, tunneling, tunneling around, not wanting anyone to really see it. Very interesting. I love that but some conflicting energy here. Let's get some more clarification on that with the whale on the bottom of the deck. Let's see. Let's get a tarot card for Gemini. What's going on up in the ether? Spirit, what can you tell us about Gemini? Ace of Fire. So a new beginning, a new beginning in some kind of inspired action, some kind of movement, something you are actively doing. Ten of water, ten of cups on the bottom of the deck. So you like doing this. It does bring your, uh, wakes your soul up, wakes your soul up. You like doing this. Let's see what's going on. What are you thinking about? That's too many cards. We've got the hermit coming out. I'll keep that. I'm trying to find your own light, trying to find your own guidance. Maybe stepping away from the pack. Three of Pentacles, this might be at the workplace. This is usually teamwork and reciprocity at work. Working together, could be a family working together. Knight of Pentacles, slow moving energy, but it is moving in the right direction. We're on the right path here. And Queen of Pentacles, you've battled. You've had to battle for this path of yours. You've got the, the battle wounds to prove it. But now you're kind of going introspective. You're looking to the future now. It's not like you're looking back to see what you have battled now. Now you're looking toward the future. Two of Swords comes in, and I'm going to look, put this in the heart space because I feel like you can't see everything. You can't feel everything after this battle. You've kind of gone numb a little bit. Five of Swords, there's some competition, some headache, and I'm thinking at the workplace. So Knight of Pentacles, you, it's like you're at this place where money was supposed to follow. You were supposed to get a raise. You were supposed to get a bonus. And now you're looking at other options. It's like maybe that didn't happen. Maybe that didn't come through. It wasn't as reciprocal as you had hoped. So you've got a little bit of a headache going on now. You're feeling a little bit stressed about this. This one wants to come out. Page of Swords. So you are getting some ideas, some new epiphanies, some new information coming into Gemini of this workplace situation. Look at that. Five of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So it is feeling stressful. It is feeling very competitive. Very competitive. Four of Cups comes in for the heart space. So yeah, it's like you have all this new information. You have all these new ideas coming in, some offers coming in, text messages coming in, but you're feeling very complacent. You're almost in this place of why bother? Why bother? I put in all this hard work. I put in um, all of this extra time and I'm not getting paid what I deserve to get paid. I'm certainly not getting paid uh, to pay my bills to have as much coming in that is going out. So you're feeling really stressed and anxious about money and about money coming in. 
feels very slow moving to you like it's never going to happen. Let's see what's at the foundation of this. Seven of Swords. So you have, you do have some deception around you. It's like somebody had promised you some kind of bonus, some kind of um, extra money here. And now you're feeling um, deceived. You're feeling like that's never going to happen. Like when is this extra money going to come in? When is that raise coming? When is that... Uh, bump coming so that I can make this work so that I can pay my bills for a pentacle so you're holding on very very tightly to what you do have because it's not enough not enough it feels like um, you're just having to take from savings here like you're having to go into the nest egg here to pay bills and we're all doing this Gemini this is not just you <laughs> this is the whole world <laughs> Look at this, Ten of Swords. So you are walking away from this burden, but you're juggling money, you're juggling finances, you're trying to borrow from one to pay the other. And something was promised here. Something was implied here at the very least that you were going to have some more coming in, that you were going to be reimbursed for your expenses here or your time or your energy or we will uh, promises made that feel deceptive to you now that did not happen did not come through for you so you're feeling very um, just upset about that who wouldn't be hanged man on the bottom of the deck so yeah yeah you're feeling very stuck here you've been waiting a very long time to have this kind of pay off for you so let's see what that hermit is up in the mind space. Nine of Wands, the wounded warrior. So yeah, I feel like this is a workplace environment. Something was promised to you, Gemini. Something that someone did not follow through with. And let's see why. Let's see what's up. Oh, ten of Cups. So this was a dream come true for you. This was a wish. You thought this was going to be the finish line. You thought this was going to be the career that you always wanted, the, the way you were going to always make money. So that seemed very deflating to you. It seems like money is following you. You are on the right path here. You're in the right field, if that makes sense, but maybe not at the right place where people are really recognizing you and paying you what you're worth. Queen of Cups, so you are holding your emotions close to your chest about this. You're not revealing to everyone how you're feeling about this. But you want this happy workplace, this happy environment. You want the teamwork that used to be there or something maybe shifted, something changed here. And so you're looking at other places. You're looking at other options. Four of Wands, there's the finish line. Again, you've got a lot of fours on the board here. So it's time to rest, time to really contemplate and think about what the finish line is here, Gemini. What would make you happy? What, what offers that are coming in could you possibly look at a little bit deeper and and maybe step through that door, step through that newness and um, start somewhere else. But that is kind of scary. It's like you don't want to do that. You put in so much time and effort into this place. But it is an option for you. There's a finish line in 1111 here. So there's some spiritual tests going on too about your patience, about your uh, perseverance here a little bit too as well. Two of Swords, the moon. So you can't see everything. That is the problem here. You are being denied the full picture here so there's things going on behind closed doors that you are not privy to that you can't hear you can't see and that's causing some great stress for you it's like these all of these what ifs this gossip going on behind your back there is definitely gossip going on behind your back words being said that you can't hear and um that's making you nervous it's making you unsteady it's making you feel like you should re be reaching out for other options you should be looking elsewhere yeah, and the fool comes out to prove the point there that you need to take a leap of faith. There really is a, a strong message here to take that leap of faith, to bet on yourself, to, to um, trust yourself that you know when people are talking behind your back, you know when that gossip is um, about you. It's just like you get these, these spider tingly senses and it's like I can hear it, I can feel it, I know it, I know it. I can't prove it, but I know it. And really trust that gut feeling, Gemini. If you're feeling that way, that's absolutely true. And I see with the Seven of Swords here, that is absolutely gossip about you. The sun, the sun comes out to, on the, on the uh, Page of Swords here, so that's very interesting. There is something really big around the corner. The finish line here is going to be so profitable for you, Gemini. It's all coming down to you taking that leap of faith for you betting on yourself and um, trying something new, trying something differently. It's like this place has gone stagnant. This place has gone toxic wherever you're at now and it's time to look at some other places look at what brings your heart happiness and sunshine Let's 
see this one got away from me. What is going to clarify the Four of Cups to Knight of Cups? So look at that. True offers coming in, stable offers coming in, Gemini. Do not worry about this. If you are in a place where you're feeling very unsteady or very unsure of yourself, your commitment is being tested here. How much do you bet on yourself? How much do you want to really delve into this career of yours? It doesn't mean you have to change careers. It just means this place needs to change up a little bit. It needs to be uh, led by you. <laughs> and if that can't happen, it's time to to lead away. It's time to look at other options, take that leap of faith, get that skill set really fine-tuned because you have a lot to offer here. You've got the finish line here. You've got the Ten of Cups here. You've got the Sun here and the Fool and the Moon. You've got Major Arcana here. So Major Arcana is when big, big events happen in our life. And then the rest is kind of our daily life, our daily innuendos of what's happening you know so this is big for you this is really big for you and it is time to look elsewhere it's time to just put the feelers out there and see what else is going on page of wands this is you giving up on this gossip walking away from this not letting people steal your power understanding how much you're worth here and your value that you need to get this self-esteem up get your confidence up this is not an arrogant card this is a confidence card and you really need to get your confidence up and step away from this gossip, step away from this toxic environment. It's not serving you well. It's only making you unsure of yourself. And that's not who you are. You're very sure of yourself. You know exactly what you can do and what you bring to the workplace here. So definitely it's time to get some feelers out there, see what else is out there. You're going to be really, really surprised at the offers coming in, at the money that is available to you with the skills that you have. So it is time to definitely get your resume out there. Really um, uh, step out, step away, just walk away. You don't have to quit. You don't have to do anything drastic like that, but it's just time to get some feelers out there. Queen of Pentacles on the Four of Pentacles. So yeah, you're really holding tightly onto your money. You're afraid it's going. It's not going to come in as fast as it's going out, so you're just not spending at all. It's like, man, I can't. I have got to hold on to what I have. You're thinking back to better times probably at this workplace when people were getting along, when it wasn't this this toxic, this soul survivor mentality where there can only be one and these teams started clicking and these people started clicking and you were feeling left out. You were feeling on the outskirt of this whole click of these people making friendships, making um, plans that didn't seem to include you and you were feeling very left out, very... Um, it's not enough mentality with the money too, with the friendships, with the with the connections you were making here and it's just not feeling like enough it is not feeling like you are being uh, compensated for the work that you are putting in and so you're feeling this kind of lack mentality when there's so much happiness waiting for you Gemini you are smart you know how to do this you know where you need to be to be appreciated to be to be out of this gossipy mentality, to be out of this kind of workplace where it's just the soul, it's just survivor. It's just only, there can only be one and that's just not true. You're understanding it's gotta be a group, it's gotta be teamwork with that Three of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. This is the way that we need to work. This is the way that we need to get along to bring in these cups for all, to bring in the rewards for all, including you, because you've been thinking about this for a very long time. So yeah, it is time to get your feelers out there. See what else is out there. You are worth so much more than what you are being compensated with right now. It's been very slow moving, but boy, it's following you. Money is following you. Uh, acknowledgement is following you. Uh, getting away from this click mentality, getting away from this kind of uh, the way it used to be. This is the way we used to do it. Somebody's there saying, well, it's always been done this way. This is the way we're doing it. And it's like, yeah, but you need to change it up a little bit. You need to get this under control. There's things happening here that you're not seeing. You know, the higher ups are just not seeing this. But uh, Gemini, you have some big, big um, offers coming in, some big leaps of faith that you are going to have to consider. And it includes sunshine and happiness and feeling needed, feeling acknowledged, feeling heard. And that's exactly where you're heading if you take these offers. It's okay to look at these offers. It's okay to step outside your comfort zone to really show people who you are, what you're made of. Show them your skills. Show them how focused you are. That when you get your sights on something, boy, Gemini, you do it. You go. You finish that you get through that finish line so 
Just because your commitment is being tested wherever you're at right now, you just keep pushing through because these are big, big moves. These are big leaps of faith. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what the final outcome is going to be, but that's the whole point. It's including happiness and sunshine and stability and revelations and ideas and offers. I Offers, offers, offers. I'm seeing so many offers here that it is uh, going to make you very, very happy very very happy so you've got to step away from this toxicity this gossiping this competitive workplace of yours wherever that is wherever you're bringing in money there's some offers that are coming in even while you're at this place so don't worry that you're not getting out or you're not connecting with people that could bring you in offers those offers are coming to you whether you uh, want them to or not and they're going to bring you very much stability solidness and get you out of this juggling you get you out of this lack mentality this I feel left out I feel like I'm on the outside everybody's inside celebrating and I'm just left out in the cold and nobody cares you're gonna be moving out of that energy very very quickly and not juggling the finances so much not trying to borrow from one to pay the other feeling like that credit card debt is getting very high like it is for everybody so do not panic about that but um, you're not alone in that. But um, you're going to be getting some kind of big, solid money offer here. It's something that has to do with your skill set, with, with something you worked very, very hard for to learn and to do. So this is going to change for you very quickly, Gemini. I'm going to check in with you soon and see. If this resonates with you, please leave me a comment. But please hang in there. This is going to shift for you very soon, this kind of toxic workplace. Going from this toxic work workplace to this job this career of your dreams this finish line this 11 11 so you keep going the end of a tough cycle is very very near for you for you all right gemini if you like this video don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe buttons thank you so much for watching until next time